Are your colors looking a bit blah and faded and not that great when you're using Procreate? Don't worry, there are a number of fixes that we can do to, to change this instead of having to repaint everything. So a few little pretty quick fixes just to bring your artwork to life and have that vibrancy that you're looking for. So one of the things that we can start with is simply by checking our color profile. If you're having this issue actually where it looks quite nice on Procreate, but then you're putting it on your website or Instagram and it looks a bit dull and muted more than you kind of anticipated, this is one thing you might wanna check. You can go into your wrench here and go to Canvas, you'll see up there. Go to the Canvas information and go to color profile. If it's set to um, P3, you might be having this issue. So try to set it to sRGB. And it's the, huh, all these letters, <laughs> IEC6, this one here. Um, try that setting and see if that help you um, have that more vibrant look across all your platforms. Again, if it, you're happy with it in Procreate, but it's not working elsewhere. So give that a try. That could help you out very simply by changing that. Fix two is a bit of a funny one, but you know what? It happens. Sometimes you don't realize it, that you've been just not paying attention to your layers. And if you tap on the end here, you'll see the opacity and you've just have your opacity a little bit down. So do check your layer opacity as well as actually while you're painting with your paints and you're, it's kind of irritating. You're not getting the vibrancy there. Just check because oftentimes if you're using both hands, and you've touched this opacity here on your brush settings as well. So check the opacity. That's a really simple one. Fix three hue and saturation adjustments. Now say you're looking like this, it's a little gray, it's a little blah, we're not loving it. But again, I don't wanna repaint it. I can go into the magic wand, go to hue, saturation, and brightness. And here in saturation, you can just bump that up and really just play with it. You can see how much that changes. That's really, I mean, you don't want to blow it out too far, but just really changing that. And you can also change your darkness and your lightness. So, you know, you can adjust that. See, that's way too overexposed, but you can see how that will help. And then you can also change here if your hues, just be careful with hue because it will change your overall look. You can see all the colors universally change, but just amping up that saturation can really make a difference if you really wanna make it pop more. Fix four is one that I use all the time. So I use this one often if I'm not too happy with my colors and they've come out just a little bit too soft. So I'll duplicate my canvas so I always have my working files and then I'll just go ahead and flatten all my painting into one layer. This is my canvas layer, by the way. I just have a canvas on here. So just one layer, and then I'll duplicate that layer by swiping to the left, saying duplicate, and then playing with blending modes. So depending on what you've painted, it'll look a little bit different, but I suggest um, trying some of the ones when you scroll up. The ones below are gonna make it lighter, so the ones above normal will deepen it so you can see that's quite aggressive color burn color burn is one i use quite often multiply so what i would suggest we can do color burn or even linear burn and watch this now that, that might be too much but just simply change the opacity of this top layer to something that you really like so you can see how that changes instantly a really way more vibrant painting so you can change it to color burn and see what you get and just again adjust your opacity before, after, before, after. But like I said, what I would always do is copy this canvas. So if you wanna know how to copy the canvas, you just go slide to the left, duplicate, and it duplicates the canvas. And that way you can just, you will still have your working layers on one file and then your flattened layers on this file just in case you wanted to go make any other changes. Another example can be just simply not using a white background. I do have a preference for, I often do, I'm just so used to working that way, but that's not necessarily going to make your colors pop the most. So this is what it looks like with just pure white. And here's what it looks like if you just add a little color and you can see that just by having a warmer color, it's just sort of a peachy pink, 
does make the color pop even more. So if you just want to place your artwork on a different background, that changes everything too. I wouldn't go that red, <laughs> but maybe something dark like that, that really makes it pop. But sticking with the peachy pink is probably the nicest way to show off those colors that really makes them pop. So oftentimes you can use sort of like a warm gray color or um, a nice warm beige, something like that. And you'll really find then the contrast even, especially if you have some more white in your painting, that will really make it pop out as well. So again, you can see just a few touches will really make these pop. This is before, this is after using blending modes. I think that's one of my favorite things. You can see here the difference with the colored backgrounds, how this looks a little bit more vibrant, a little bit warmer, really. That would probably be the biggest difference. So before and after. And this one would be before hue and saturation, after, before, after. Big changes, but really simple ways just to fix that. So I hope that helps you bring your colors to life and makes them a little bit more vibrant if you're getting stuck there. So if you're wondering where to find these canvases that I've been working with here, there are a number of free ones in the goodie bag that I have ready for you. They're in the description below. There's a link there where we can find free canvases, free brushes, free color palettes, and a really big, huge Procreate for Beginners course. So if you wanna learn all the tips and tricks of how to use this wonderful program, it is there for you for free, my gift to you. So you'll find that in the description as well. So thank you so much for joining me here. I love you guys and I will see you in the next one.